Uh, in this video, I'll cover how to use the mRound function. Now, the mRound function is just pretty a simple rounding function, and it helps you return a number that's rounded to desired multiple. It only takes two arguments, the number that you want to round and the multiple. So let's look at an example. Let's say that we have the number 7 or we have the number 11, and we want to round to the nearest multiple of tens. We'll type equals mRound press tab to complete that. Here's our number and our multiple is going to be 10. Close parentheses, press control enter to stay in that cell. You can see the next multiple of 7 is going to go up to 10. The next multiple of 11 will still be 10 because 10 is the closest one to 11. Now if we made this maybe 16, it'll go to, it'll go to 20. So basically what it does is uh, it rounds to the nearest multiple using uh, normal math rounding functions or rules. It's going to round down if it's less than 5 and round up if it's uh, greater than or equal to 5 when you think about it. And how would it look with decimals? Let's say that we have 9.94 and maybe this one would be 9.95 9 or maybe 9.96, right? And we want to round it to the nearest 5 cents, 0 0.05. Control enter to stay in that cell. You can see that the next 0 0.05 is 9.95. .05, if I bring the formula down here, and the next one is also 9.95, and that's the closest one to 9.96. One thing to note is if the number is um, less than the multiple, and it's under the the five, um, it's going to round to zero. So you can see here, if I type the number three here and make this round back to 10, like I did earlier, had 10, that's gonna point back down to zero because three uh, is, well, let's, let's remove this one. This one's done. Three is less than the multiple and it's not over five, so it's gonna round down to zero. So that's one thing to consider. Incidentally, it can also um, round negative numbers. So if this was negative three, negative three, or maybe negative 33, and I wanna round to the next nearest negative number, it has to be, the multiple has to be negative, otherwise it's gonna give you an error, All right? It's gonna round to 30. If this was positive 10, it's gonna give you an error. So that's something that you would need to consider. Now, something to think about is with the mRound function, there might not be that many applications with rounding uh, whole numbers, but in terms of rounding maybe decimals for money, you might find some application for that. Also, another way that the mRound could find some application in the business setting is with time. So let's say, for example, that we have a time like um, uh, 6, oops, 6, 07 a.m., right? That gives us the time, and let's say we want to round it off, round it to uh, the nearest 15-minute um, increments. So to do that, we would have to put those 15-minute increments in quotes, quote, 0, colon, 15, uh, colon, and that will round it off to the nearest increment. Now, the reason why it's in decimal form is I need to make that type a number, I mean, excuse me, a, a time. So I go to time, there's different samples here. So let's sec select the one that has the PM, AM, PM. So you can see that it selects 6 AM, click OK. There are, the closest 15 minute increment is six o'clock. If we made this 6, 11, it's gonna be 6, 15. So that's one instance where maybe in a, in a business setting where you want to round things off to the nearest 15 minute increments or 10 minute increments, this could probably be useful. So there's an overview of the mRound function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.